For many embedded system applications, reading and writing to external memory chips is critical. This example will explain how to read and write data from a PIC microcontroller to a microchip EEPROM. For hardware, we will be using a Curiosity Nano base for clickboards, the PIC 16F18076 Curiosity Nano Evaluation Kit, and the 25CS M04 EEPROM on a Micro E EEPROM 7 clickboard. If you're using a different PIC or a VR microcontroller, or different microchip EEPROM, some instructions and register names may differ, but the general approach should remain the same. For software, we'll be using the MPLAB X IDE with the XC8 compiler and the MPLAB code configurator with Melody, the latest versions of which will be linked below in the description. It is also recommended to view the Microchip Discover or GitHub post for this demo after viewing this video for more specific details as we will only be covering the overall process here and not specific application code or peripheral configurations. Additionally, advanced EEPROM features such as write protects, holds, and other security features in our EEPROM module will be left out for simplicity. However, information on said features may be found in the EEPROM's datasheet. Let's discuss what to expect for both executing a write and a read. When writing from your microcontroller to an external EEPROM, your first step after setting up your hardware and initializing all relevant peripherals is to send a write enable command. This will tell the EEPROM to prepare to do a write, hence the name. After the write enable command has been sent, the EEPROM will need a small amount of time to work. During this time, the EEPROM status is tracked in the status register. Upon completion, the appropriate bit within the status register will be flipped, signaling the EEPROM is ready for the write to begin. The register may be pulled for its status to begin the write immediately as the EEPROM is ready, or the user may bypass this polling by setting a small timer instead. After receiving the confirmation from the status register of a complete write enable, or completion of a timer, the write may be initiated. The data structure is formatted as such. An 8-bit opcode is followed by a 24-bit address, then finally the data being written. This can either be a single byte or a block of data up to the size of a full page at 256 bytes. Anything larger than this will overwrite the data that has just been written as the data will wrap around the page. After the write has been sent, the EEPROM will need up to 5 milliseconds to complete the write and may not accept any more write commands until this process is complete. The user may choose to either wait this full 5 milliseconds or pull the status register same as before for the completion of the write command. The read process thankfully is more straightforward. For a read command, the user sends the read opcode to the EEPROM, then the EEPROM will send data back as the clock continues to run. The user can continue to run the clock to read back anything from one byte to the entire EEPROM device if they so choose. The user should also be aware that the write command will wrap to the beginning of a page while the read can continue to the next page after finishing the previous. If the user is writing and reading back large sections of data for verification, the difference in read and write behaviors must be considered either by starting writes and reads at the beginning of a page or splitting write commands into multiple writes at the end of each respective page. For a full write-up on peripheral configurations, application code, and more, please see our corresponding Microchip Discover and GitHub post on this demo below, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.